Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Aries for their highest and greatest good. All right, so you're showing up as the Seven of Swords, okay? Your person, you're viewing your person as the Chariot card, possibly a Cancer. And you're viewing the connection as the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? All right, they're showing up as the Eight of Wands. They're viewing you as a Tower Moment, Aries, and the connection as the Queen of Swords. A lot of you, this is somebody you are not together with right now. You may not be talking to them. Um, you might be avoiding this person, Aries. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody wasn't putting in the work due to a third party. And we have the Seven of Cups. You're going to get clarity here. Maybe some of my Aries, maybe this is somebody that you you moved off in a different direction with. Again, feel free to swap the energies that I'm picking up on. I am going to read Aries on the left and your person on the right, but again, it, it could be that we swap the energies. And we have the Magician in reverse. Okay, so it looks like somebody here has been manipulative, dishonest. Um, you know, I do feel with your person, they might have been, they might have been hiding a third party here. Okay, um, you know, they might have been protecting, you know, a secret or secrets for sure. All right, let's see, Aries. A lot of you, I feel like you've just kind of moved off. Like some of you might have just moved out of this person's house or maybe you even, I'm seeing some of you might have even like thrown their stuff out on the lawn. I know that's that's drastic, but it is the case for some of you. The seven of uh, The seven of swords is, you know, something here was really draining your energy or somebody was being dishonest. Now, of course, it could be that you decided to move in a different direction, right? But I feel this is the energy you've been dealing with, the two of swords. Um, you're, so you're in the process of healing. You're definitely holding back. I feel like my Aries out there, you're trying to find your center, trying to make a decision about this connection, or maybe even if you ever want to talk to this person again. Um, some of you, they've sent you a message, but I feel like the message was not good enough, or maybe it was a bit confusing. So you're just trying to figure out how to respond is what I'm getting for some of you. You're viewing your person as a cancer, as this chariot energy. All right, and we see the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so you're very physically attracted to this person, or you know that they're, you know, this person is a bit of a powerhouse. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you are as well, but I'm seeing here, this person is like very forceful. They're very passionate. They're very creative. I feel like they get a lot of attention. For some of you, you feel like they've moved on already with a third party is what I'm getting. You're viewing this connection as a 10 of pentacles in reverse. So separation. And, you know, I feel this has been heartbreaking for you. Um, with the four of swords, I, I have a feeling my Aries, a lot of you kind of have this fatalistic view here, like things can't be healed. Um, you know, this has just been heartbreaking something here. It just feels like there's been some sort of deal breaker, but with the eight of wands showing up in reverse, it's like this person, I don't know. They, I don't know if they've sent you a message telling you they want to heal things or they want to wipe. I can't speak. They want to fight for this or work on things. This person's definitely been spying on you, but you have to be careful with this person, Aries, because it's like they're not truthful and honest, or you always have to read between the lines of communication. Um, it just feels like that's draining, right? They're viewing you as a tower moment, which is Aries energy and the Knight of Cups. This person's in love with you, okay? And again, some of you are like, well, how could they be in love with me and act this way? This person feels like they're in love with you. I think that's what they're really shocked by. Aries is that they can't forget you or that they just, I feel like you're all consuming for them, especially since you've probably ghosted them or walked away from them or blocked them or cut them off. Now the queen of swords energy can sometimes be an ex. So for a lot of you, this person is in your rear view mirror, but for others of you, this person, they want to talk about this relationship. Yeah. But you know, I'd be careful Aries because with the knave of chalices in reverse, 
I think this person can't believe that you're not together or they can't believe that they've effed things up here the way they have or that you you like cut them off and really moved in a different direction. This could be somebody who's got really a strong ego. They could be a little out of touch with reality is what I'm getting. I feel like they also owe you an apology. And I feel like too, like when they reached out, instead of apologizing, they may have said something that kind of pissed you off, Aries. That's what I'm getting. But this person, I do feel is manipulative. I don't feel they were pulling their weight in this connection. I also feel my Aries, you know it's time to do things differently. Yeah, because there was dishonesty. This was draining. There were lies. There were deceit. There was deceit. So for a lot of my Aries, this is a confirmation reading. And I know, you know, in the comments, I can already see in here, like, I don't want to hear about an ex. This person, you know, broke my heart or this person's a player and I don't want to deal. But they are showing up here in this reading, right? And I can't change those messages because someone out here needs to hear that or needs this confirmation. This person was hiding like a lover or a third party. And that's that's been found out. Um and I feel like maybe some of my Aries, it took some time for you to really get this confirmation, but I feel like you have the clarity that you need about this person. Um, you do, you do have a car, you have karmic justice coming your way. There's a new soulmate here on your path. And the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's going to be honest and somebody really trustworthy. Okay. So let's see um, what we need to know. Anything else we need to know about this past situation or hopefully past situation. Yeah, Spirit's confirming it's a karmic relationship. Um, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. That's, see, that's what I was getting. And this person is actually heartbroken. And most likely that is going to be their karma for what they did here. They're also spying on you, okay, with the sunglasses energy. Um, all right, anything else my Aries need to know regarding their love life, please, or this connection? Okay, so it was definitely imbalanced. This person wasn't pulling their weight and bring out the best in each other. See, this new connection, that's going to bring out the best in each other. For some of you, this past energy or what I was picking up on, it was a fling. It's coming out twice, fleeting relationships, a fling. Maybe they had a fling and that's why you ended it. But what we're going to do, Aries, is we are going to move in a different direction here and see who is this like 10 of cups, six of cups coming your way. It's like you've definitely, you have a soulmate on your path. Um, for some of you, you needed to hear that this person that did you dirty is going to be getting karmic justice and they're missing you. They're like, you know, letting go of you, but still love you or really in love with you. Yeah. Your ex, they're definitely going to try to come back around. Be careful. And the, your ex, a lot of you, this is that cancer, that cancer energy, your ex. So be, they're coming, they're not going to want to let you go very easily, Aries. So that's why they're coming through so strong in this reading. Some of you think it's completely over or you've spoken your peace. They're not going to give up on you. So just be aware of that because it could be a bit of an obsessive energy. But cancer X here. Let's see, who else is coming towards my Aries? Who is this? Ten of cups, six of cups energy. Somebody who's going to be really funny. Expect a lot of fun and light energy with this person. The laughter you share may very well bond you and alleviate stress. Nice. All right. Uh, somebody who's healthy. I also think it's going to be a healthy lifestyle. Anything else? This person's going to be a leader. Yeah, so they're comfortable taking charge. They exhibit confidence in their decisions. They could be in a management role or maybe they have their own business. This is somebody who definitely works hard. They're investing in their future. They have a lot to offer my Aries. Okay, let's see. Anything else my Aries need to know? They may have an imperfection in their speech. They might have blue eyes. They could have like a longer name with a few more syllables, but I wasn't really feeling that. And they may have dark hair. Okay, and they may own, yeah, they own their own home. They're definitely stable. They're definitely financially stable. And this new connection, please, for my Aries. Yeah, honest communication coming in. Yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You're going to really trust this person, unlike this past karmic situation. It might be kind of fun and lighthearted. This new person isn't, they don't want to rush into things. They might have that earth in their chart where they're kind of a bit of a slow burner. It's going to be sexy and passionate, though, so don't worry about that. And yeah, it's going to be a dream come true. There's your karmic justice. And Spirit's also saying this new energy here is a lasting love. So a lot of you, it's time to release that X that might have, may or may not have cancer in their chart, but it's definitely coming out twice. So confirmation for some of you. 
All right, my dear Aries, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.